have mm-hmm. found that I started as a person who didn't know what to do. Then I yeah. tried to become like a persona who was really mm-hmm. clear and really interesting and, you know, insightful and snappy. And now I'm just back to a person, but I know a little bit more than before. So mm-hmm. person to persona to person. I think that's my journey. And most mm-hmm. people get stuck at person. Sorry, at persona. Like they, mm-hmm. they, they come and come in and they, they see other people being successful. They imitate what they do, which is usually a good idea to figure out if that's for you or if it's not and mm-hmm. experiment around. That's kind of kind of how you find your own voice, even socially as a human being in any community. But they get stuck at the point where they just try to write really, really short think boy tweets and tweet them mm-hmm. out on a schedule every single day and do nothing else or do the threads, right? Where people just mm-hmm. do the mind blowing 25, whatever threads. It's fine to do this from time to time, not hating on people who write good threads. But if this is the only thing you bring to the table, w- what's the point? There are like 4,000 mm-hmm. other people exactly like you, probably writing the mm-hmm. exact same stuff. So yeah. that persona, that's a nice way to try on the hat of being somebody else, but it shouldn't be the thing that you actually are. So I, I found that by, by understanding what value means to me, and you talk a lot about value too and in, in what mm-hmm. you do, I, I looked at Twitter and I thought, well, what is actually valuable here? And it's not just the, the threats and it's not just the, the quotable things, but it's sometimes even a question. So asking somebody who's an expert in something, like what exactly what people do on your show to you or what yeah. you do right now with me, just asking the right question is incredibly valuable because not only do you get an answer, which is added value on top, something mm-hmm. people expect, but you know, the question itself is valuable because it makes you think. And maybe you have a different opinion than the person responding. Now you see this distance and you try to figure out, well, how do I get to where they are with their answer? Or why are they somewhere where I didn't expect it to be? And then somebody chimes in because you do it in public. Now you have a third opinion. Like the question is the valuable thing. The conversation Mm. is a consequence, but even a question can be valuable. And once I understood that content isn't just something smart, Sometimes mm-hmm. something curious is content or something, sometimes something vulnerable, like opening up, sharing a really sad story. I think Pat Wells was doing this today. He was talking about starter mm-hmm. story and how he kind of set this goal of, of getting to, I don't know, getting rid of $65,000 in, in debt and getting to 10K yeah, in, his, in his account. That is something that it, it may not be valuable, just like mm-hmm. a, a passage from a textbook is in terms of knowledge. But the opening up the story and sharing something that other people find themselves in, that is incredibly valuable content. 